Stroke is a major cause of morbidity in the United States. 800,000 people suffer a stroke every year. And there is a select group of patients who have stroke that it's amenable to going in and pulling out the clot like we do for a heart attack. In those patients, they need to be taken from whichever hospital they're in to a tertiary care center. And during that time, you are losing brain cells. We know that if you cool cells and you put them into a state of hibernation, essentially, they require less oxygen, they require less glucose, and it may actually directly save these cells. So if you're not killing millions of cells every minute, just a few, then that might actually improve functional recovery. So my body temperature will probably go down to about 93, 92 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is the range that is used in other disease states like cardiac arrest, where we use cooling to protect the brain and to protect the body. So what you see right now, it's pretty much gonna hang out as is for the next two and a half hours. Um, we'll monitor, monitor his vitals, uh, wake him up. He'll get a little bit cranky here and there. Um, so we're gonna be asking him the same questions every five minutes um, until after the three hours of the cooling, then we will um, start to decrease how often we monitor how cold he is, how comfortable he is. And at that point, since we're not sedating them anymore, they're not actively cooling, um, we don't have to worry about uh, the drug causing any, any major problems. If you're going from northern central Pennsylvania to Presbyterian to have this procedure done, you have an hour and a half time window where you're essentially being transported. And that is the time window where you can actually take the body's temperature, cool it down, and get it into this therapeutic range that is protecting the brain. That way, when the stroke neurologist sees you, does the catheterization, you've got more viable brain cells. And hopefully that translates into, I have a better functional recovery. I go back to work faster. I'm eligible for rehab, and I have a great trajectory and return back to where I was before the stroke ever happened.